Hey everybody, Chris here. Are you bullish on Dogecoin? Well, I'm bullish on Dogecoin, not only for the coin itself, but also at the charts. The charts are looking very good right now. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what I think about Dogecoin right now, as well as, of course, take a look at the charts. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do appreciate it. Turn on the little bell for notifications so you know when I'm uploading new videos. Dogecoin overall, following the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin trading very well last night, Dogecoin following, that's good. That's a good sign. Cryptocurrencies overall are looking good because mainly a lot of the, the FUD about regulating currencies and banning currencies, uh, are, that doesn't seem to be happening. It looks like the United States is gonna be embracing cryptocurrencies in some manner, uh, but certainly not. I mean, they want to control it somehow. And they're probably going to start with the stable coins because the stable coins seem to have, you know, this the, the backing of the dollar or whatever it is that, that's behind it. I can see the United States concentrating on that. The cryptocurrencies are global, they're worldwide. What the United States does would only affect the United States country and its citizens here. But I don't think they're going that way. I don't think they're gonna do that. Mostly because there's so many institutions, so many wealthy individuals that are invested in cryptocurrency that they're gonna lobby against Congress and th that's probably already happening behind closed doors. So the little bits that we're hearing seem to be they, they want to regulate it, but probably aren't going to come up with a way to do that. For Dogecoin particularly, its use as a currency continues to grow and grow. As we're seeing more and more retailers accepting Dogecoin. Yeah, they're accepting other coins too. Many of them are using BitPay or Flexa or one of these you know, uh, apps that, that allows you to choose which cryptocurrency you want to pay with. But with Elon Musk talking more about Dogecoin, particularly its transaction speeds, its low fees, that's where the concentration is about Dogecoin. And anytime any other retailer starts accepting cryptocurrency, they're marketing Dogecoin more than anything else. They're not saying, hey, we're accepting Litecoin. You don't hear that. It's about Dogecoin. Dogecoin continues to have this large and growing community with more and more people buying into Dogecoin. So why am I bullish? Well, part of it is the trading in the charts. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at that. So in looking at the charts, this is Dogecoin 30 minute chart. This is what I'm looking at right now. Dogecoin trading about 1235. Uh, what we saw was big trading last night and Generally, there's this large W that was the trading over the past day and a half or so. And with that, I mean, we typically see that, right? Dogecoin trading down, buyers buying low, bringing the price back up, the retracement back down, and then trading back up to the upside. And that upside overnight followed Bitcoin. Bitcoin did the same thing. Huge trading of Bitcoin coming up all the way from 40,900 came up over 43,000, now at 42,922. So that is the trading of Bitcoin happens sooner, Dogecoin follows. That's what we saw with the trading. That's looking very good. Now we zoom out though, when we look at the daily to get the overall picture, and the overall picture is still, Dogecoin's got a long ways to go. This channel between 11 cents and 1360, 1360 is still a key resistance line, and we'll see Dogecoin hopefully trading up and hitting that and eventually breaking through. Bitcoin is still in its channel, 37,000 to 45,000, still trading in that channel. We'll see how Bitcoin goes from here. Ethereum as well, between 2,500 and 3,200. So this is the overall cryptocurrency market we're trading in these channels. Now, these are the big channels. So what we do is on Dogecoin, we go ahead and we zoom in a little closer. Let's look at the hourly. And here's the hourly. This is what I expect to happen now. Dogecoin has 
traded up to the upside here, the fourth leg of the W. Now I see Dogecoin probably trading sideways. And this will be between like 1220 and 1250. That's typically what we see is it reestablishes a base and then it trades sideways in this channel. Bitcoin's probably going to do something similar right in here between 42 and uh, 43,000. Probably be trading in this channel here, which is good. It establishes a new baseline that's higher than before. We like that, right? We see the higher lows and higher highs. And as that happens, we, we establish a baseline. We trade up again higher. We establish a new baseline. I mean, look at the RSI here on the hourly. Bitcoin's RSI came up over 78, which was great trading up. Dogecoin's eh, not quite as much, just touched 75 a couple times, but still it's good to see Dogecoin's RSI trading up above 50. Go back to the daily, and this is what I've been, I've been tracking with Dogecoin. Dogecoin's still not above 50 on the daily RSI. However, we could see that just about coming over here the Dogecoin makes another run up over this channel, we would see that RSI up over 50, which is a bullish signal. So we've got that happening. We see the good trading going forward that we could see Dogecoin, again, trading in this channel, and then hopefully in the next day or so, making another move to the upside. So where Dogecoin trades from here, it's going to largely depend on the overall cryptocurrency market. If Bitcoin is going to be trading up over 50,000, back up over 60,000. We're going to see Dogecoin going up over 17, 19, maybe even 20 cents. And we see that trajectory hand in hand. However, we have these big catalysts that could propel Dogecoin even higher. Dogecoin, as its meme coin that it is, tends to do these, these rockets when these huge news comes out. And we have that. SpaceX, Tesla, those are the big ones right now. If Tesla starts to accept Dogecoin as payment for cars, that would propel Dogecoin even higher. I think Elon Musk is still waiting until what happens with the United States regulation, uh, what's going to happen with uh, cryptocurrencies as a security versus a commodity and let that sort of work itself out before taking making that commitment. I think Elon's probably waiting for that. He is accepting it for merchandise, though. You know, it's a small skin, but it's it's good. That's a good start. But I think he's waiting for the bigger thing and see what's happening. So that's my take on Dogecoin. Yes, I'm bullish. Let me know. Are you bullish too? Do you think Dogecoin's going to be going up soon? Let me know in the comments below. Give the video a like. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.